Okay, here we are, post-trade moment number 52, and again, we'll have another lie here. Today I want to talk a little bit about Enoch. Enoch was a character from the Old Testament who lived before the flood. And I've often heard those who believe in a pre-trib rapture say that he is proof that the rapture comes before the tribulation. Let me read you what the scripture says about Enoch. Let me just pause here for just a minute. Um, <clears throat> Enoch is a type. There are a lot of people that are in the Bible, and remember, First Timothy chapter, I'm sorry, Second Timothy chapter 3.16, let me show you here quick. Second Timothy 3.16 says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God. It's profitable for doctrine, reproof, correction, instruction, and righteousness. So you can take parts of scripture and use them for instruction and righteousness. Okay, there are types in the Bible. As I showed in another video, John chapter 3. Okay, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Now, was Jesus Christ a serpent? Was he the serpent in the wilderness? No, but it's given as a type. You see, there are types in the Bible. The serpent that was lifted up in the wilderness was a type of Jesus Christ being lifted up on the cross. Even so, there, okay? There are types in Scripture. But now what he does is, he says, well, there's no, this, you know, Enoch does not picture, you know, and everything. Enoch is a picture of a saint that is raptured, that is caught up without dying. He is the only man that can truly say that. Why? Well, because, I, let me say this, he is the only man that, said, that can, it can be said of that he is called up and never dies after that. Okay, because Elijah comes back down, Moses and Elijah are the two witnesses in the book of Revelation. He comes back down and he, he is killed. Enoch, therefore, is the only one who goes to heaven and never dies. Okay, unless we're talking about the body of Christ. There will be members of the body of Christ that are alive at the rapture pre-tribulation rapture that are called up and never die. So yes, Enoch is a type of a Christian. And I'm going to say some more things as we continue here. The Bible reads in Genesis chapter 5, uh, verse 23, And all the days of Enoch were 360 and five years, and Enoch walked with God. And he Let me just say, say something real quick here. Uh, Genesis chapter 5. Check this out. Verse 23, all the days of Enoch were 360 and five years. Interesting because the Gentile calendar has 365 years in, or 365 days in a year. Kind of interesting, the Jewish calendar does not. Hmm, I think the Jewish calendar has, uh, the Hebrew calendar has 360 days. But this has 365. Hmm. Very interesting. Let's continue. He was not, for God took him. And if we go to the New Testament, to Hebrews chapter 11, the Bible says, By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God. And so Enoch was a person who did not die. God actually just took him, and he was translated that he should not see death. And many people have pointed to this as a foreshadowing of the rapture. And I say amen to that, because that is similar to the rapture, that those of us that are alive and remain will be translated, will be changed in a moment in twinkling of an eye. Uh, yeah, but you see, now what he's going to do is, he's going to go and he's going to tell the truth again here, and he's going to, you know, because he can't handle things. Uh, you see, the picture there of Enoch is that he was translated before the flood, before God poured out his wrath on the whole world. Okay, before he poured out his judgment. See, I gotta say that because I'll say, "Oh, the wrath doesn't come till you know after you know Revelation chapter six, which is nonsense." Okay, and I've been over that before. The wrath is there the whole way through the time of Jacob's trouble. Again, it's been covered. But now, what he'll do is he'll actually talk about this coming up here. But what they've tried to do is say that this proves a pre-tribulation rapture. 
And in fact, I just heard a, a pre-tribulation rapture preacher say that Enoch proves that the rapture is before the tribulation because Enoch was, was caught up right before the flood came. And he said that represents believers, you know, being removed from this world before the tribulation. Whereas Noah was, you know, he went through the flood. And that pictures the tribulation saints who will go through tribulation. Yeah, it does. But you see, he can't handle it. Now see, watch what he does next here. But here's the problem with that logic. Enoch's life is nowhere near the flood in history. In fact, Enoch was translated 669 years before the flood. So this idea that Enoch was somehow uh, removed from this world to spare him the judgment of the flood and to, to spare him... Ha oh, that's not an idea. That's what happened. You see? See how he's lying here? That is what happened. Why do you think God took him? It's because he walked with God for 300 years. He had this testimony that he pleased God. See, he's saying this idea. It's not an idea. It's what the Bible teaches. Okay? Again, it's ridiculous. Having to go through the flood is ridiculous because he would have been dead. Uh, no, he wouldn't. Remember, they were living almost a thousand years back then. And see, again, this is based on another faulty notion, and that is that the rapture happens and immediately the tribulation comes right after it. If you're pre-trib rapture, you know, or as I would say, if you believe the truth, that doesn't, the Bible doesn't say that. There could be months, there could be years between the rapture, the catching away of the body of Christ, and the time of Jacob's trouble. There could be a few years difference between them. This doesn't prove anything. Okay? Before the flood ever came. I mean, he lived 365 years, and then there were still another 669 years. So even if he had lived as long as the longest man who ever lived in the Bible, he still would have died of natural causes long before the flood. So to say that... Okay, it doesn't, again, we're not proving anything here. And by the way, let me just show you something here. Enoch begat Methuselah. You know what Methuselah means? Methuselah means, when he is dead, it shall be sent. Hmm. So in other words, there could be Christian parents today that are raptured and their children go into the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, there are children that are old enough that are not have not reached the age of account you know, have reached excuse me, have reached the age of accountability. They're old enough to be saved. See, that could easily happen. See, he's he's forgetting the fact that these people are living almost a thousand years. So again, he's not proven anything. He's not proven one thing. Enoch pictures a pre-tribulation rapture because he was caught up right before the flood. That just shows that someone has not studied the, the, the genealogies there and, and done the math. To re no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Those people were living almost a thousand years. This doesn't prove anything. Realize that Enoch did not live in the time of the flood and he lived long long before the flood 669 years before the flood yeah and there were people that were living to be over 900 this doesn't mean anything his life ended and so Enoch is a good picture of the rapture but doesn't prove anything about a pre-tribulational rapture oh yes it does oh yes it absolutely does you see he pleased God he was taken okay Christians that please God will be taken. Of course it pr proves a pre-tribulation rapture. It absolutely does. He just can't handle types in the scripture. I mean, this guy is such a liar.